when I was in second grade, <laughs> we uh, did a unit on Jane Goodall in my class. And honestly, I don't even really remember exactly what we learned except that she was there studying chimpanzees. And I thought that was really interesting. I just liked the idea of um, being in a forest, being in nature, and observing. I've always liked watching things. Um, I never thought that I was gonna go study monkeys in the rainforest, so that just seemed too kind of out there. And I decided to go to Mexico um, because I don't think people normally think of Mexico when they think of rainforests and uh, field biology. And I stayed for a whole year and I did a project looking at the seed dispersal between two, the two howler monkey species that they have in Mexico. My project looks at the um, beneficial gut bacteria that howler monkeys have. That they, they depend on them heavily, but we don't know which kind they have. In the field every day, I have to wake up at sunrise. Uh, <laughs> the monkeys wake up with the sun. They start howling in the morning, um, and I have to be out there by the time they're up, because when they're up, um, that's when it's the best time to get samples. <laughs> they give them to you right away. So looking at what kind of uh, fruits the howler monkeys were eating and then finding the seeds that they left behind, um, again, in fecal samples. Um, I haven't been able to escape that. But the project was a good kind of trial by fire uh, for primatology in the field. It, it was an adventure, uh, but I liked it. And so I came here and I said, look, I can do this lab work. I can do the field work. Is there something I can do with both? interested in looking at all different primate species to get an idea of how to get an idea of how the gut bacteria is maybe related to evolution. So I said, okay, well I like the field work. I like the primates. I've done it in the zoo, I've done it in the field, I'm enjoying this. Um, so when I graduated I said, well let me try something like that for a year where I'm doing primate work. Um, the IGB in particular has been great. I have so many collaborations with so many different people. Um, and they've taught me so many different things. The IGB has given me access to a lot of tools I wouldn't have had otherwise. It's been really nice for me to be able to bring my samples here. There's plenty of storage. I can throw them in the freezer. I can get them out, extract my DNA, do everything I need to do, send them off, and then I have the facilities right here to be able to analyze all of those samples. I get these huge amounts of data back, so I have to use a supercomputing cluster here. Um, things that wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to do in other places on campus or necessarily at other universities.